Welcome to the screencast for the new Google Sites. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to edit your site. And again, your site is always parked at sites.google.com. So here's my site. I'm going to hop back in there and do some editing. So we've seen how to add pages. We've messed with our theme a little bit. Now we're going to talk about putting objects and items onto your pages. So this insert area of the creator sidebar over here, this is where you can choose to add text boxes, add images, upload files. You can embed something from another site. You can also pick to add things from your Google Drive or put a YouTube video on here or a Google map or, or any of the things that are all listed here. So you can really kind of visualize and, and, and build out your site. One nice way to do this, and this is a good trick to know, is as you're mousing around in your site, if you double tap on your trackpad, so I did a tap tap, that brings up a little, uh, the little creator area as well. So let's say I wanna add a text box right around this area. I'm gonna choose text. It puts in a text box. So I'm gonna do a welcome message. Welcome to my technology resources site. Please browse around and find some resources that might help you. And notice it's doing some minor spell checking for me, which is nice. So as you type your text, you'll get kind of a little Google Doc editor looking bar that appears where I could bold some of this. So maybe I want my welcome line to be bold. I can italicize, I can center or left or right my text. I can do a numbered list, which might look nice or a bullet point list. Uh, I, can in, I can link to something else on the web or link to another page. I can trash this if I don't want it anymore. So you get those little minor features there as you work in your text box. You also get these little dots so you can adjust the size of this text box. So maybe I'm thinking I want to put my text box over here on the left and maybe put a picture over here on the right. I can do that. I can adjust this. I can also grab, if I ever see this four arrow icon up here, this means I can move or grab and move something. So maybe, I, maybe I'm rethinking this now. Maybe I want my text just here in the center. You can adjust this however you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put the text on the left. I'm gonna put a little picture right here. So I'm gonna double tap, choose images. The way that you can bring images in is you can upload them. So if you had them saved on your computer, you could bring, uh, pick them from your computer. If you had a direct link right to the URL of an image, you could put that in. You could use search. I'll do that in a minute here. Uh, or if you saved any images to your Google Drive, you could pick from your Google Drive. Albums is not currently turned on for students. So knowing that I'm building a text site, maybe computer would make sense. Let's do a search, see what we find here. So, okay, here's a few. I'll choose this one and hit select. So now that image comes in. Ooh, that's loading really slow. I'm gonna trash that one. That might be a really big image. Let me do another one. Let's pick, a, we'll pick a clip art one. There we go. So I want that image right there. Again, I can resize this image. When you're clicked on an image, you get different choices. I can crop this, meaning uh, if I drag this little slider, whatever's left in the little white box is what will show. So if I only wanted the monitor to show, I could move that around and, and hit the check mark and now just the monitor is cropped and showing in that picture. This other button is uncrop. I'll go ahead and uncrop because I do think the, the whole picture is nicer. I can link this to something, maybe to a website, maybe to another tech website. I can trash it if I'm done with it. So all different things you can do there. As you build your site out, you'll also get this little color palette over on the left side. Because I chose my theme earlier and my theme has gold in it, when I click on that, there are some choices here for how this kind of row can look. If I wanted it to have a gold background, if I wanted it to have some kind of gray background or a white white uh, box looking background, you can choose that from here. You can also choose to have an image be this whole row as well, which looks kind of nice. You can kind of play with that and see what that looks like. I'm gonna scroll down. Let's say I wanna add something here from Google Drive. I'm gonna click on from Drive. Let's say I have a slideshow. I could search in my drive or I happen to know my slideshow I want to add is right here. I'm going to choose insert. And that's going to put a Google slideshow in my site as well. So I can also adjust the size of this, paying attention to those gray lines in the background. Those are my guides. So if I'm moving things around, you can see now that looks centered because I've got the little blue lines appeared on the left and the right. So I can kind of customize this to what I want. And I can go to each page and do that. Again, as you work, please click publish when you know things are good to go and you want it to be out live on your site. 
Also, use this little G Suite training help icon, this little question mark icon. If there's something we didn't cover in these videos and you want to know how to do that, uh, change header. Like, how can I change my header? Maybe I don't want it to look that way. Or maybe I want to change um, or delete a page. Let's say, how do I delete a page? Oh, look, here's a little video that pops up and that'll show me how to delete a page. So these are super helpful tutorials that'll answer your questions for you pretty quick. So that is how you can edit your page. Again, click publish as you go and occasionally do a preview. When you go into the little eyeball preview area, this is how your site is gonna look for your audience on a phone, on a tablet, or on a computer screen. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.